Are you tired of the hassle and guesswork that comes with diluting cleaning chemicals for your daily tasks? If so, you clicked on the right video. Today, we'll walk you through the simple process of using a chemical dilution control system. By the end, you'll be equipped with all the knowledge necessary to streamline your chemical dilution process. Now let's take a look at how you can use dilution control systems to fill your empty spray bottle. Step one, select the right chemical. The first crucial step in achieving accurate chemical dilution is selecting the right chemical for the job. Some systems allow for multiple chemicals to be connected, while other dilution control systems are dedicated to one chemical. If your dilution control system has multiple chemicals attached to it, make sure to select the desired one. This ensures that you get the right product at the correct concentration for optimal cleaning performance. Step number two, insert the output tube into an empty spray bottle. Once the chemical is selected, Take the output tube and insert it into an empty spray bottle. If there are more than one output tube, you will use the shorter one for this step, as this is the tube meant for filling trigger spray bottles. Step number three, press and hold the release button with the bottle in place and your chemical of choice selected. Press and hold down the release button on the dilution control system. This initiates the filling process, allowing the precise amount of chemical solution to flow into the spray bottle. Step number four, release the button and cap the sprayer. Hold the button down until the bottle is filled to the desired level. Be sure to not hold it for too long before releasing or it may overfill. Remove the short output tube from the bottle and screw the trigger bottle cap back on. That's all there is to it. You've successfully filled your spray bottle with the perfect chemical dilution for your cleaning needs. It's important to make sure that the bottle you fill is correctly labeled. Most dilution control systems will have labels that display which chemical is selected. To avoid any mishaps, you should label the empty spray bottle as well. A bottle should be dedicated to one specific chemical, Otherwise, there is potential for cross-contamination to occur. This is for safety and productivity, as you don't want to end up using the wrong PPE or recleaning a surface you just cleaned. By following these simple steps, you can confidently use a dilution control system to consistently fill spray bottles with the correct chemical concentration. Not only that, but as your chemical to water ratio becomes consistent, so does your cost per bottle. If you want to learn more about dilution control, check out the other videos on our channel. Ready to make the investment? Reach out to an Imperial Day facility near you, and one of our Jansan chemical specialists will be more than happy to help you get started on a chemical dilution control system for your facility. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe.